What's going on, everybody? So a little bit of a different video. I know a lot of people are like, what's been going on with the uh, Land of Extreme and stuff like that out there? you still been doing cards and all that? Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of going through, um, you know, 3,200, 5,000 count boxes. It, it takes a lot of time. So you got to go through, look, you know, price stuff. It, it's been crazy, crazy busy. So I know some of you guys know, but I've retired. Um, just hanging out now. It's only been about two weeks and, you know, just trying to get that whole thing in and like, you know, understand it. Hey, I'm retired. Now, I'm not saying I'm do. I retired to do sports cards full time or nothing like that. I just retired. You know, I'm in a great place and wanted to just, you know, relax, you know, during my older years, maybe go on some trips some vacations, stuff like that there. So it's a little bit of a different twist. To see how everything rolls, you never know. I may become unretired down the road um, and go back to the good old uh, workforce and stuff. But for now, just going to hang out, you know, relax, you know, get stuff done I needed to get done. And, you know, see, we'll see where everything goes. Now, for the card side of it all, you guys probably, I don't even know if anybody even knows I still had a website. It's done. I took it down, so I need the expense. I don't really use it. Um... I think I was paying like $50 a month for it. it. just makes no sense. I don't post anything for sale on there. As most of you guys know, I either do it by card show, eBay, DC Sports, Probstein uh, for some stuff, and then the card shows themselves. I think that's everything. Card shows, Com C, eBay, Probstein, DC. Okay, yeah, that's all five. I want to make sure I hit them all. So the website's just done. I mean, like I said, it's not. It's an expense you know, I don't need it doesn't need to be out there the logo's still there i gotta get that worked on probably gonna have to take out the old uh website and stuff like that but we'll get that done taken care of here coming up i want to concentrate more on you know going through all this stuff uh cards getting scotus shows to where you get to meet people and stuff like that there and just i want to be the i know i'm not that old don't go thinking i'm like 60 or something like that but just want to go to those shows like the old guys do, you know, just sit there, relax, talk to people, see what comes across and stuff like that. Fine cards to grade. I guess I'm still doing PSA. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a different thing. So let me pull this banner down here. Like I said, I'll still be going to these card shows and stuff like that. I don't know. I think this might have been Lexington, Kentucky here. I don't remember offhand where the pictures are from. But still going to go out to shows to buy. Um, but I think that if I'm going to make a drive, I must just be set up as well, too. It may just makes more sense. Depending on what I have. But, like, right now, I probably still have just sleeve cards. i got to go top-loaded. Probably two rows of a 3,200-count box. Behind me is uh, seven brand-new value boxes. Um, throwing a little kickers in there for people to actually search through those to find stuff like that per show. Uh, a lot of... It's it's various newer stuff to inserts from the 90s, 2000s, maybe A-Rod rookies. You know, it could be anything in these boxes. Mostly Com C's just going down to jersey cards and autographs to be sold on there. Uh, there's going to be some exceptions to that, of course, along the way, but when I pick up collections, the first things I'm going through is grabbing all the, uh, autographs and jerseys, uh, relic cards, I could say, looking them up, see if they make sense, send a com, C, boom, gone, just like that. But, uh, card shows, still will be doing them. I, I like going to them. It's just one of those environments to where, you know, you get out, you get to meet people, get to look at new things. I'm not saying that every dealer in there is priced accordingly and stuff like that, but you know, you still get to go out, walk around, probably start bringing some cards with me, do some trades, stuff like that. There now, let me click this off. Eventually, the cards show you back in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I just haven't gotten the whole thing because I got to look at scheduling, then I got to get licensing back for the city and everything like that, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm looking at doing those once per quarter. I don't want to do monthly shows. I don't want to do bi-monthly shows. I think quarterly will be fine at 100 tables because it'll give people like, hey, this is, you know, his quarterly shows here. 
And I don't th I think the building I'm using, they're always booked out at least close to a year. So we might not see this starting till either late this year, early next year. We'll see where it all comes into play out. That'll be something I'm working on through the month of April. But yes, the old extreme card shows. See how it goes. See how it goes. Uh, I want to try to keep tables on the card shows reasonably cheap, long as I am possible i could say breaking even on the room rental table rental chair rental type deal i'm fine with keeping tables as low as cost as possible of course no admission fees nothing like that and then looking to bring in some of these older uh wrestlers and they do autographs as well too just something different something different Again, I'm always open to ideas and stuff like that. I may need a little help and hand out this way. So if you're out this way and you want to get involved, just let me know. Um, you know, just to give a help and hand is always appreciated. One man show. Trust me, I did these before. It sucks. It's a one man show. Alrighty. Other thing we've been doing. This is not something I bought. This is off of Facebook Marketplace. It's something I'm thinking about going to look at. Buying collections out. Or buying, you know, in bulk from people, you know, they're like, hey, I got, you know, 10, 5,000 count boxes. It's got some autographs, relics into it and stuff like that. You know, I don't mind doing that. Putting into work, seeing where it needs to go. Um, always never mind putting into work. That's why I never understood where a lot of people, you know, go these shows and just because their favorite YouTube heroes out there, they'll sell them, you know, great cards at 60%, 70%, give them these crazy deals. When you, all you got to do is put the work in, you can sell it. I know a lot of people just, I don't want to sell online, don't want to do this, don't want to do that. They just see the money aspect of it all. I'm still looking for those guys who are, you know, diehard collectors out there and stuff onto it. But still going through sorting, um, going to the shows, uh you know, scouring marketplaces. I don't want to go crazy and buy like a collection a week or anything like that there. It's just, if it makes sense, I'll do it. If it doesn't, I'll at least point the people in the right direction what I would do to sell it to make more money off of it in the long run. But that is pretty much it with the whole aspect of what's been going on. Um, we'll be back with a lot more videos coming up. I was trying to think when I wanted to really do this video and actually talk more into it with keeping it at a relative uh, shorter length video out there. Due to the fact that I just didn't want to be blabbing on forever onto needless stuff onto it. But again, I wanted to answer a lot of questions. I thought about coming and doing a live onto it. Um... It just it didn't really make sense to try to catch a lot of people with a live and doing, you know, the question answer game on to it. It just made a little more sense doing it this way here. But still around, still doing across the board. Again, oh, I want to say, I don't know if I said in the other videos, I appreciate everybody that's been buying on Com C from me. Thank you. Um it, it's been a work in progress, and I'm starting to finally start seeing things turning on there. We'll hit that into a video as well, too. Uh, that'll probably be coming out beginning of April. You guys will get to see the Lexi Kentucky show. Uh, those shows there are going to be more heavy for me for value boxes with just one display case. I will probably have other cards that I can use to replace stuff as it sells. Um, but if you're looking for bigger stuff or stuff that are... From like any of the videos, Instagram posts, PSA, whatever it may be. Just hit me up and say, hey, can you bring these along if you still have them? And I'll say, yes, gotcha, or I don't have them anymore. It doesn't mean we're doing a deal that day or when you show up to show. You might just want to see them and may throw out an offer. I'll have them with me. I'd, I'd rather have the stuff with me than not with me. I guess that makes sense. All right, guys. Appreciate as always watching the videos. I am out. I will catch you guys next video.